Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on online shopping system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any ID of your choice and a string module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of shopping class. This is a GUI form, so to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, then click on swing UI designer, and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the .java file for the code. This is my .java file, I have named it as shopping, and the .form file will be for UI designing. Let's see the design first. This, these are the J labels over here. This is a text field, these are the J buttons and uh, you can add the functionality by right click over here and then go to create listener and then few lines will be coded in the uh, .java file then there you can add your functionality of the button this is my j label uh, sorry this is my j table and uh, do not forget to add the uh, table under j school pane and uh, I have named all these, these are also J labels and uh, I have named them accordingly. So for item name, here is the label and J label is named as item name. Here, this is the price and this is for the image. Okay, this is the image label and this, this is the text field name as quantity. And uh, this panel is named as admin panel and I have provided some margins over here. Okay, let's see the code. This is my class and these fields will be generated automatically once you uh, name all the fields over here in the UI. And then uh, you need to create one object of JFrame class. And I have named it as shop f. And uh, in the constructor, you need to add few lines. These are the lines which you will require so that whenever you create an object of shopping class, so uh, this uh, will be the output of the program. Okay. Uh, okay, this table data over here is the uh, method that I have created for extracting the data from the database and uh, put it over here in the J table. Uh, okay, uh, these uh, this let's talk about this method. Uh, set contain pane carries a parameter which is of type uh, J. Uh, J panel. Okay, so you need to provide your panel name over here. I have kept my name as admin panel, so I'll be uh, entering my name over here. Okay, set visible. We are setting it to true so that uh, whenever you run the program, this uh, panel appears on the screen. Okay, so keeping the panel at the center of the screen, you need to uh, set your uh, set this method to null. Set location relative to. We are setting it to null so that uh, the form appears this j form appears in the uh, sorry the j frame appears in the center of the screen okay let's move to the functionality of the button so right click over here so uh, i have already created the listener so i'll be going over to this okay this is the functionality that i have provided to the add button first i am checking if the quant uh, the quantity over here the text field is null or not if it's null then i'll be popping a message uh, that please fill all fields to add item to the card okay and if it's not null if the user has provided something then i'll be running this query this is my query insert uh, into card this is my uh, table name and i am storing four values item name the price the quantity and the total Okay, I am using a prepared statement, so this is the syntax for it. So, uh, what I am doing here is calculating the total. The total is calculated by multiplying the quantity and the price. Okay, so uh, we are getting the price from the J label and extracting it and uh, converting first parsing it into the integer and then multiplying again with the quantity which is uh, of text type, so I am parsing it as integer. Okay, then I am saving it in this variable total of type int. Then I am building the connection, passing your URL. This is my URL and the uh, name. Okay, the user and the password. And then I am uh, calling this prepared statement and running my query over here. So uh, if the uh, data fields 
are of type integer then we use set int and it, if it is of type string then we use set string so my first uh, quantity uh, first variable which is uh, my column name uh, over here it's of type string so we are using set string and we are storing the values that is provided over here in the item name item name is my j label which is present over here okay we'll be uh, setting the values to item name from the uh, listener okay mouse listener over here from here so you need to go over here then add create listener then click on mouse listener okay the mouse listener will be uh, generated over here in the code then you can add your functionality uh, i'll show you in a minute and uh, so okay so we are extracting the values from item name label the price label and the quantity label okay and this total is calculated from this uh, price and quantity and then we are setting the fourth column as total okay these all values will be stored into into the table named card okay into the database then we are calling this execute update and popping a message that item added successfully and then uh, setting all the values to null and then catching the exception if there is any okay this is all about the add button uh, let's see our close button go over here okay uh, so what i am doing here is uh, uh, i am just calling this uh, dispose Sh uh, shop f is my j frame i am calling dispose method to uh, close the frame and uh, let's go to cart okay over here mm, this is my table data the method which i have created to display the data into the table from the database so i am running this query select all from shopping this is another table that i have created uh, for the items to store okay i have stored few items over there and I have uh, given them item name and the price and the image okay these are set uh, previously before the before this program runs okay so uh, I am storing all the values in another table which is shopping so I am building the connection storing the result in the result set and then building setting the model yeah, you can set uh, call this method set model and then instead of this this is a method which i have created on my own but it works in the same way as dbutils dot result set to table model okay then pass your uh, result set method uh, result set variable okay over there and it will work in the same way then i am catching an exception if there is any okay uh, we haven't seen the go to card uh, functionality so okay over here uh, what I am doing here is uh, just disposing this frame, my current frame, which is shop f, and uh, creating new object of cart class. This class is another GUI form, so you can create one from here, like I have shown you, and uh, then provide the name cart to it. Okay, so this is all about my shopping.java file. Let's uh, move to the cart. Okay. Here I have created uh, this UI by uh, from the options that are available in this palette. So this is a J table and I have added this J table under J scroll pane. I have uh, provided my, the name as card panel to my panel and this is a J label. This is a button. These are the buttons and this is J label again. Okay. So over uh, okay i haven't shown you the mouse listener i guess okay over here you can go then go to listener okay these are the listener okay mouse listener this is the mouse listener um okay uh, what we require is the column name and the row uh, sorry column index and the row index to extract the value for example, this round is stored under the first row and the first column. Okay, so we want to extract this value round and then we can set the value to either this label or over here in the text field. So uh, I am doing the same thing. First, I am uh, calling this method get model and uh, I am saving it 
in uh, in the variable dm of type default table model and then calling this method get selected row and uh, saving it in this variable of type integer okay so we'll be calling the get value add method from this dm uh, of type default table model and then it takes two values uh, the row and the column to extract the value okay so we'll be providing the row and the column which is a zeroth column my uh, the item name value is stored in the table in the first column okay so the column starts from zero so we will be providing zero and then convert it into string and then we can set this value to the item name label okay we are calling this and passing this over here this value similarly for uh, it uh, we have done this for item name we can also do it for the price the value of price is stored in the first column similarly we can add this and set the value to price for image uh, we cannot uh, just get the image in over here like this in the form of string or it's, uh, it's of type blob so we'll be retrieving the image in the form of byte array okay we'll be calling this first and uh, and then parsing it in the form of byte array storing it in this variable and then we can use this image icon uh, object and we can pass this byte array as parameter over here okay then our image is saved in this image icon but what we want is to design it also so we'll be converting it in image form okay by calling get image method and then uh, we'll be calling get scaled instance method of this uh, new variable and uh, then we'll be designing it accordingly so i am giving the height and width as 200 and setting this property scale smooth to it okay after designing the image okay then we'll be saving again in the form image icon so then we'll be creating a new object of image icon and then passing our final image to this and uh, i have named it as final pick then we can uh, set this to image label image label i can set the icon set image uh, sorry set icon and then pass your uh, image to it okay that is it for the shopping and uh, let's uh, continue with the card okay i have told you about the ui and let's check out the uh, java file okay these fields will be created so again you need to do the exact same thing i am creating a new object of jframe class naming it as this and then the same lines you need to add in the uh, constructor okay then i am calling this table data here instead of uh, car, uh, okay here i am calling from the card so the method which is over here table data is running the query select all from card okay uh, let's check our buy now button this is the listener we can create one by going over here and then create one this is the listener for the buy now button let's check the functionality what i am doing here is first popping the message item purchase successfully and then uh, amount payable account is another method which i have created to calculate all the total okay total values string over here is what i am doing is deleting everything and uh, ca calling this uh, query by this prepared statement and then uh, executing the update okay execute update method is called then uh, what uh, the uh, data gets updated so we need to call this table data again okay uh, this is all about the buy now button uh okay let's check the this is the back button i am disposing the frame and creating a new object of shopping this one okay this screen will be popped once you click this button back button and this is the table select all from card okay similarly i have created this okay let's check our count uh, count method so the total is set this variable total is set to zero and I am running the query select total from card okay there was a column last uh, column it was uh, total in the table card 
which was uh, storing all the values over here from here okay i was storing the values in this variable total so that total will be set over here first this label calculated or uh, so first we'll calculate all the total values and add into a variable total here is the total okay so what i am doing here is running this query and then executing this uh, while loop so and then uh, extracting all the details from the column one column one uh, if you select all then column will be third as uh, so sorry column will be four as this is stored in the fourth column but i am just running this query total so only one in, uh, column will appear so i am setting this to one so extract the integer and add it into total okay and then return the value simple okay uh, and then after running the value uh, what uh, okay let's see if the total this total is updated or not okay i am setting over here setting the value of total total dot set text and the string value because uh, it will return integer and uh, this accepts as string so i am passing it in string and calling this count method okay uh, okay i have told everything from here let's run the program Okay, so these two values are already stored into the database where near, under the file, uh, under the table shopping. Okay, so let's see our mouse listener work is working or not. Okay, it is working. The item name is set to black T-shirt, which was stored over here, and the price is set to this five hundred. The image we are getting over here. Let's select the quantity. Let's say two and press add to cart. Okay, it is working, and let's press over this, and uh, let's say three. Okay, add to cart. Okay, this is working. Then we uh, let's check our go to cart button. Okay, the previous frame was removed. You can see, and this frame is popped up. So what I have selected is. Uh, Two quantities for black T-shirt and blue jeans. Uh, three quantities, and uh, you can see the both the values, price and the quantity, are multiplied over here. Two into five hundred and thousand into three. We are getting total for each, and uh, total of the card, the total amount, will be four thousand. So we are adding the thousand and three thousand. So it is working. Let's press this item purchase successfully. Amount payable four thousand. On pressing OK, it will be cleared. Okay, and on pressing back, this will be popped up. Okay, it is working. I hope you understood the working of the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.